Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know about our referral program we have going on. Drone Pilot Ground School, which is UAV Coach's Part 107 test prep course, has trained over 50,000 drone pilots for the Part 107 test. And our students have had an overall pass rate of 99%. Starting now, students can refer a friend to Drone Pilot Ground School and get $50 via PayPal, and your friend will get $50 off the cost of the course. Follow the link below to learn more and to start getting money when your friends sign up for Drone Pilot Ground School. With that said, I have three stories to share with you this week. Our first story will cover Red Cat Holdings and how they recently launched the Teal 2 drone. Our second story covers Wing and how they're testing drone delivery operations in harsh weather. And finally, we'll go over Sony releasing major updates to their Air Peak drone. Also, here are some job listings in the drone industry this week for anyone interested. Dish is hiring a drone pilot in Las Vegas, Nevada. Virtuance is looking for a real estate photographer in Jacksonville, Florida. North Carolina State University is looking for an educational video specialist in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Performed Line Products is looking for a UAS senior pilot in Mayfield Village, Ohio. With that said, let's fly in. Red Cat Holdings recently launched the Teal 2 drone which is made for military, government, and commercial applications. One of the biggest features of the new drone is that it's made for night ops, carrying night vision sensing that was created in partnership with Canada-based optical products manufacturer Immaversion. In addition to visual night sensing capabilities, the Teal 2 is the first drone equipped with Teledyne FLIR's new Hadron 640R thermal sensor, providing customers with, quote, the highest resolution thermal imaging available in a compact group one form factor specialized for operating at night. So it seems like exciting stuff for the new Teal drone. Next up, the company Wing has been hard at work testing and researching their drone's capabilities in harsh weather conditions. Here's what they had to say about operating in harsh weather. We've done extensive rain testing from winter test flights north of Helsinki, as well as in Alaska, to the summer heat of Texas to evaluate our fleet's ability to operate in such conditions. To date, we've delivered over 300,000 orders in locations with varying climates, wind, and heat conditions. And I think that seeing drones fly in rain and other conditions will definitely be interesting to see. And finally, Sony recently announced upgraded software and accessories for its Air Peak drone, the only drone they have launched to date. Although the Air Peak was originally made for capturing cinematic aerial footage, the updates open new use cases, allowing it to be sold for inspections and other kinds of commercial scenarios. Upgrades to the Air Peak include an extended flight time from 12 to 20 minutes, improved imaging, and real-time kinematic, or RTK, capabilities. A new RTK kit provides more reliable and accurate control, especially around areas with strong interferences like wind turbines. The RTK kit supports repeat missions with centimeter accurate positioning, which is a big upgrade from the previous GNSS system, which only supported meter accurate precision. Of course, all of these upgrades come at a cost. The new battery pack costs about $400 each, and the new RTK kit and gimbal each cost around $4,000. The Sony Air Peak sells for about $9,000. And before we wrap up, here's a weekly submission from one of our viewers to share with you all. Don't forget to submit your footage so we can share your awesome photos and videos with everyone each week. All right, that's all we have for this time. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. What do you think about the Teal 2 drone? And how about delivery drones being capable of flying in harsh weather? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.